Y'all already know what it is. It's Nikki, baby. I'm blowing up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so you know what the fuck it is, your boy LIV3, the host of the bitch, we growing up, a time to interview, you know what it is. Hey, right, so, uh, Mickey, so how, how did you get your name? How did that come about? So, as y'all know, I'm a very Disney fan. I got my name for my favorite character, Mickey Mouse. I don't like Minnie Mouse, that's the hoe, okay? <laughs> that is my husband. Y'all, something funny y'all don't know is, my birthday is November 17th. Disney Channel, Disney Channel Mickey Mouse's birthday is November 18th. And my son is November 19th. That's why we were meant to be. <laughs> that's what's up. So, so can you say growing up as a kid, you was a good kid or a bad kid? I was a good kid on contention. <laughs> so, so, for the people that don't Too know bad. what that word means, can you elaborate for us? <laughs> that means I was good because I got good grades to get $20 eggs. <laughs> Every time I got an A or a B, I got a $20 and $10. So, I stayed good on a report card, but I did get in trouble. Yeah. Okay, we get you. <laughs> so, for the people that don't know, where are you from? I'm from LA, Los Angeles. Yeah. Big, big okay, LA. okay. That's why I'm the queen of LA. That's what's up. That's what's up. Oh, so, you was for sure a bad kid then, you know, growing up in LA, for well, sure. I grew up what? Right know. in the hood, y'all know. I can't say the hood, but I grew up in the hood. I went to Bret Hart. <laughs> Let's just say that. I went to Bret Hart, I went to Lock, I went to 68th Elementary. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up, man. So, uh, so how did you like first get into like rap music or any type of music? Uh, my friend actually inspired me to do music, but it started off with me dancing. I love dancing. I love all type of beats. I love people be hitting that shit. <laughs> so when I get on, the, when I start getting on, into music, I start loving how to flow. I start learning how to get my up there. You feel me? So, Just say so, what I mean. So speaking about dancing, so as a kid, did you like? Always knew how to dance, or like, did that sound I stayed like in dancing programs. Um, I grew up dancing. I was from 68th Elementary. I was in the after school program, after school all stars, doing a drill team and cheerleading. And then after um, I went to middle school, I was a part of the drill team there. I was captain there. From Locke, I was captain of the drill team there, co captain. I'm going to say co captain. I was co captain there. Then I went into cheer over there. I had a little loving basketball type life without the basketball, be me being a basketball, without me being a basketball. That's what's up. So, so speaking about you know dancing, so I know you was a part of like Tommy the Clown. So can you tell people about that? Yeah, I was a part of Tommy the Clown for about since 2013. Um, I originally started with Homeboy the Clown, and from there Tommy was like he he invited me to a party, and I came. I had told him that he had told me basically when I'm ready to come home to come home. And I got into some little shit and altercations with some females that part of the Tommy squad. Now they my homegirls, we cool now. We didn't all have babies and progressed and shit. So, but back then it was toxic, it was sick. So I had to, I had left homeboy and I told Tommy I was ready to come home. And Tommy let me in. That was in 2013 when I first started with Bay vs. LA. That's what's up. So can you say that like, uh, kind of like helped you in, in your life, like inspired you a little bit to do more things? Like It kept me out of a whole lot of trouble. Um, I feel like if I wasn't dancing, if I was if I was always in the streets, I, was, I grew up like, I guess you could say, I grew up on like the Vermont side of everything, Vermont okay. and everywhere. So it was like, for me, I could have went either right or left. You know, I could have been yeah. fighting, I could have been with drugs, trapped in a hoe and all that shit. Dancing kept me out of trouble, kept me in the books, and it kept me strong because Tommy made sure you have to do what you have to do to stay over there. And my mama made sure she stayed on my ass. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> so, who, so do you have any favorite artists in the, in the industry right now? Um, If we talk about local artists, yeah, I fuck with like my bitch right here. That's my number one. Uh, yeah, that's what he does. But no, for real, um, I love. I love SZA, I love Lotto, I love Nicki Minaj. Uh, I was yeah. waiting for you to say that first. <laughs> <laughs> I love Nicki. Uh, if we talking old school, let's go Eve. Y'all don't know nothing about Jackie Thumb Miranda. Y'all don't know nothing about Gaysa Loving, because she was hard too. Let's talk about, uh, I still fuck with Khalees. My milkshake brings other boys to the yard, and I'm right. It's better than yours. I fuck with a lot of old school rappers too. Biggie, Tupac, all those. That's what's up. So, how, how would you describe your style of rap? I don't categorize my category. Right now. I don't put myself in one category. I feel like I can hop on any mm -hmm. kind of beat, any kind of track. I got a lot of shit I can sing. I hop on auto tune. I can rap. I can dance. I can. You feel me? I'll be like, I need to be like, hey, hey, little bitch, go to that shit up. Throw it back. Make it clap. Go to that shit up. She go beat it up. Beat it up. Ah, sweat. 
You feel me? I give you that party shit if I wanted to, but then I can also give you that shit and like treat him like a duck because you bitches thoroughly bark back. I spark back, filled out six texts. That's a close cat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 She said, <laughs> she said, she said, she she said like, hey, if you smoking on my ex, I get low. Period. <laughs> you know what I'm That's what's up. So, so what, what can you say is the hardest thing about being a dancer versus being a, a artist? With dancing, I feel like it was easier for me because I had that opportunity with Tommy the Clown, so that already that that put me on a platform that plateaued me into already a lot of people's eyes. But being an artist, nobody knows me for music, so it's harder coming into the industry being that nobody knows you and you're trying to make a name for yourself in music rather than just dance. That's, That's why she true. got me. That's I'm true. gonna plug her with everything right. I am. Yeah. So, so what do you hope people take away from the music? I just hope everybody can learn that I, I'm doing music for fun. I love it because. It's just in me, the whole art of the entertainment, the whole music. In the, music is dance, music is everything. You feel me? So I went from dancing into writing lyrics, into poetry. It all categorizes into one, one big ass genre, you feel me? So I just love it. I just want people to take away just me, who I really am. Everybody feel like I'm just nice, little, little girl, yeah. little Mickey Mouse girl. And you know, I just want y'all to know me, that's it. So, so what are your goals for your music career? I don't know, I wanna, um, I feel like I'm gonna be like in a little Cole, late Coley Ray like little plateau area. I want my own little wee line. I want to strain in the cookies industry legally and all that shit. I want my music to pop off. I don't want to just be stuck in one lane. You see how she doing Jersey type beats and shit yeah. like that. I want to be able to take off in two in many different ways. So that's the goal. Right, that's what's up. So, uh, so what do you like to do uh, in your free time outside of music? <laughs> That's my slide. That's my slide. Dude. I'm a lit bitch, okay? <laughs> when I say lit, I'm a lit, lit, lit bitch. I like to have fun. I like to go out. I get money. So at the end of the day, I, I deserve to take myself out and do what I want to do when I want to do it. Yes, sir. So speaking on that, what does what a typical day look like for you? <laughs> if I'm being honest, it means I wake up, I take a shower, I get dressed, I probably do some things for some people. Uh, run a couple errands, <laughs> a couple uh, uh, errands, you feel me? Hop in the streets, I'll probably get out, go to work, uh, take care of my son, hit my son up, because my son stay with his daddy, he probably lives with his father, I'm the working parent, you know? Yeah. My, fa my baby daddy just started working and shit like that, so you know, we take, we, I'm, I'm outside, that's the typical day for me, so outside. <laughs> so, so, uh, random question, do you sing in the shower, and if you do, what songs? <laughs> Um, I'll be singing in the shower sometimes, but uh, let me see. Uh, I'll be singing Rihanna too. I just recently, because of the Super Bowl, you called me singing work, 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 work. <laughs> yeah, but um, I was in that show. Work, 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 work. I think I'm thick now, y'all. So when I be wor I work, 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 work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so what can you say? Is the best advice you've been given? My mama. I should have pimped that nigga. Hello. In my song, Smoking on My Axe Pack, I say, I should have listened to my mama. I should have pimped that nigga. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you now, ladies, don't let men manipulate you. Don't let men play you. Hello. And don't let nobody shift you left or cake you out your character because it can and will happen if you let it. Yes, sir. So, so can we be expecting an EP from you or are you just going to be dropping more singles? Uh, for right now, I'm dropping singles. You can be expecting a mixtape from me soon. Um, once I get a real team behind me to push me, because I don't want to just keep dropping music, I'd rather hold on to my stuff, because you know you can sell your songs. Right? Yes, sir. So, so. It's basically what you what you call it. We we going on there promoting ourselves with Royal K Network. That's what the uh, that's what's supposedly supposed to happen. I'm not for sure. Once I go sign these contracts and figure out what's really going on, then I'm gonna know for sure, and that's what it's gonna be. But I'm ready to make a name for myself. That's the goal. I want to go on the show, push my brand, push my promotion. I'm going to go in there. I'm getting my logo made and all that. LLC is correct and shit. Just so I can further stream my career. That's it. That's what's up. That's what's you up. If you had one message to give to your fans, what would it be? Yay! If I had one message, it would be like, you guys, stay. Nah. To my young fans, y'all know, the ones that's from Tommy Clown and Dancing, stay in school. Stay. Oh, that ain't me. Stay in school. <laughs> Stay in school, stay present, and stay here, and stay in the world, because y'all, when you leave, if you leave out of school, if you leave out of your presence, if you leave out of your zone, I promise you, you ain't gonna make it far. You gotta stay focused on what's ahead of you and not what's behind you. Stay focused on what's in the present and what's in the future. Yes, but sir. to my uh, adult fans, looking forward to seeing me in the future. <laughs> I'm 27, I'm grounded, what's up? <laughs> yes, sir.
<laughs> so, so how can you say, uh, how, how do you balance uh, maintaining your privacy with your life in the public eye? Not posting what I, what I don't want people to know. It's that simple. A lot of people don't know what I do in my scare time. <laughs> That's why I said to say what I say. And I'm very, very content about what I post on the social media. I don't like people knowing everything I do and mm -hmm. when I move and how I move. You get me? That's yes, how you get sir. caught up. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So, so can we be expecting at least an EP from you and Kunye? You can. We got about five, six, seven, eight songs maybe in the Ellison. progress. We got eight songs. Y'all heard it on the eyes and shit like that. But we got something in the works. Don't be, don't, don't, just be ready. What, mm -hmm. So what, what is your creative process like when you're making those songs? For me, um, when I hop in a booth without previously writing, I tend to listen to the beat a couple of times, let it write out. I like to freestyle that on the beat. That bitch be spazzing. <laughs> that bitch be I do. I tend to, I tend to yeah. freestyle on the beat first. Drop a beat, I'm going to freestyle on it, and I'm going I'm to see where it go. Once I start mm -hmm. to feeling that, I'm going to start catching on to some of my lyrics that I was saying. I'm going to start writing what I like down. Feel me? And then, I'm like, okay, let me get a hook going. Boom. All right, let me put some verses on this shit. Boom. Yes, now I got a hit. <laughs> so, so, so what's next for you? I'm gonna keep dancing. I'm going into this social, this reality TV stuff to keep dancing and doing my music. I feel like I'm taking off. I feel like I'm up next, my bitch up next. And when I take off, the city coming with me and everybody that was on my team and on my back, I'm coming, coming with me too. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. Yes sir, yes sir. Before we get out of here, is there anything that you want to let the record reflect on? Just that I'm a real raw ass bitch. <laughs> That's why I'm a real raw ass bitch. I let the kids go cap and I st I'm still doing me. I'm still trying to be a role model. I'm still <coughs> not going left. I'm just being me now. Now you can see the real me. I don't got to hide it from nobody. Because dancing for Tommy the Clown, y'all know, it's a brand. He yeah. has his own business. You have to follow what he do. You got to respect his business first and foremost. And you got to follow the brand and respect the brand. Because at the end of the day, he's inspiring little kids, young yeah. kids, from three to teenagers to adults too as well. But now that I'm outside of that, you can still respect the brand and still grow. It's the music that we play inside Tommy the Clown Truck and Hop Out to is, is the people that I aspire to be like. Yes, sir. So can you give them uh, your uh, Instagram and uh, where they can find your music at before we get out of here? I'm officially on all platforms. This show can get your girl love. You feel me? So you can find me on Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud. It's Mickey Baby on yeah, SoundCloud. Yeah. But other than that, search me Mickey Baby, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, it like? is at the real Queen LB, Queen LB on Instagram and at it's Nikki Day. Yes, sir. We blowing up with Atomic Interviews. You know what I mean?